What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another review of a base mod, or base map, or add-on, whatever you want to call it. Today we're doing another one from Razzleberries, this is Doomsday Bunker, and I must admit that it's, it's a cozy little mod, but it doesn't seem all that interesting. There's nothing really wrong with it, like I say I do like the door idea, but like, um, it just doesn't seem like there's that much here. Like I said, it looks really nice. I love the door part of it. I think it's cool. I like these little custom animations they've been making for these doors. All the people who've been making these mop, mop, uh, maps. But you come down here, there's just not that much here. Um, you have a little sitting area where you, that you can't really sit down in. <laughs> uh, you have all the records. You have a record player. That's pretty cool. And Channing Table ready to go, but if you'll notice, storage is kind of low in this. Normally when I do a base mod, there's tons of storage in every single room. This one doesn't have that much storage in it, at least up in this area. Come down here. Notice again, you're in a, basically you're in a smelting and smithing area, but there's no crafting tables. There's no crafting tables. And it's like, um, well, you wouldn't you want to craft at least one crafting table in here? So, if you notice, there was no crafting table up here either. So, if I want to craft anything, I have to go to a different area here. Or I need to put one in myself. Now, I'm not trying to say this as I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. But as a when you're making a mod like that, you have to think about that. Um that's the point. You should have a craft. This is basically a crafting room. Look at this. You, you have a drink station. By the way, there's no nether root, but there is a nether portal in the base. So you can go get it. It's just, I, you know, kind of thought they'd do that. Most of these bases have it set up, but you all you have to do is start up the base and you can instantly go into doing all the other stuff you don't want to do. That's the point of having one of these base mods. Here's the storage that you have in the game. Now, there's stuff in each one of these. That I will give them commend. They've got basically seeds and or plants of everything that you can grow food wise in here already in these. So you can start growing whatever you want right off the back. That is cool. I like that. I do not understand why they, when people build base mods or maps, they, they put like a random tree in an area. I mean, I guess it looks cool, but why is it here? Like, what do you do with this? Do you chop it down and then use this room for something else? I, I don't know. Heading back down. Okay, so in here is basically the armory. Another thing I like about this, they've got some startup leather armor in different colors and each one of these is also full of things that will help get you started. You've got strength potions in one area, um, then the middle one will have a bowl and a sword, some startup food, some arrows of each type. Well, I'm not sure if they have each type, but they're close. Because each one has different. So this one has different ones. This has jump boost. And then again, the same thing. All of them around. I like this. I like this little thing here. I thought this was cool. This little armory setup where you've got your startup armor and some startup equipment. You're ready to go. Like I said, you can still get into this mod and get going it just doesn't seem like there's that much and then one bed so this is a singular type base this is for one person who's not trying to play with a bunch of friends who just wants to get started on a nice survival map and not have to worry about getting anything started like a base or any of that just come get some startup gear and work out of this thing problem is i, I like the reason why I, I didn't like the fact they didn't add the crafting table is I don't like to mess with their mods, these maps. I know that although this isn't exactly what I thought it would be, I don't want to break something or move something and go, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll just put uh, a crafting table right here. 
it just doesn't feel right to me because I because I build maps and stuff like that, and I'm like, hey, when people come in and just start tearing it apart, I'm like, I, I want to use it how they wanted me to use it, and then you have your Nether portal. Again, like I said, it's not a bad base, but I just expected a, a little bit more. Normally with Razzleberries, it's very detailed. There's a lot going on. There's just not that much going on here. It is a good singular person base. If you're starting by yourself, you don't want friends to be around, you don't want that, you know, you're cool. You're good to go. Get in here, have fun. It's just you gotta do a little bit more. I kinda like with bases, with a base map, you're paying somebody to create a base for you. Everything should be here of startup ability for you just to come in and start going. Like, there's no Lampus in here, so that means I need to start mining. There's no place to mine unless I want to start destroying things. There's no place to mine. You have to make your own mine shaft outside the base unless you wanted to start destroying parts of the base. You know, most of these base ones I found, there's a little area in there where you can start mining right there. You don't have to leave and make another one or destroy parts of the base. Um, and that's about it. As you can see, it's just not that much here at all. And then there's so much now that I have to go out and do by leaving the base. Now here it is. Now I've got this, I've got this stack of dirt here because when I was exploring the area, I lost the base. <laughs> I didn't have coordinates on and I totally lost the base <laughs> because I could not figure out, I couldn't see it. Uh, like I completely lost the base. So that's gonna be something, if you do get this map, you're gonna have to do like build a something so that you can find this again because Normally, I'm pretty good at remembering the locations of bases, uh, but most of the time I'm on the ground when I'm doing that, and I, that's easy for me to remember. But when I'm flying around, this area is a pretty decently flat area, and there's not too many villages close to spawn. As you can see, as you look around, there's no villages really around close. You have, like, a little further out, you'll start finding some, and there's there's no desert, so there's no desert temples, um, and I think I see the start of a jungle area, I think there was a start of a jungle area that way, that's about it, there's not too much going on, as you can see right uh, there, is, there's the villages right there, see how far they start, most of these other maps that I have, have got villages almost like right next to these places, so that you can find them right away. So like I said, and the area, it's not bad for building. Actually, I kind of like flat areas because you know, you can smooth them out. But then recently, a lot of my builds, I've been building on mountaintops and cliff tops. So having a lot of those are much cooler to me. But like I said, you can build anywhere at any time. Not that much variety when it comes to the biomes. Not the, not, it doesn't really have the biomes I like. I prefer a lot of the jungle. I like prefer a lot of desert. And then the kind of tundra areas I like. They have some of the tundra areas, but I like more of it because I love building castles and stuff on there. Like I said, terrain's not bad, but it's like nothing special. Nothing pops out. I don't see... There's not a lot of monuments. There's not a lot of temples there's not a lot of like and the fact that there's not too many villages too means that if you want to trade or level up a village you gotta go a decent ways and if you're playing on survival that's a long hike until you build like a train uh, a railroad system with mine carts or something like that which takes a while so again like i said it's not a bad mod it's just nothing special I wouldn't rush to buy it or anything like that. I, 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 Like I said, I'm not going to say it's a bad mod, but it's not something you need to get. Like, oh, definitely get this and check this out. Eh. If you like playing by yourself and you want a good starting, pick it up. If not, it's not really worth picking up. It's, it's okay. That's it. It's just simply okay. It's an okay base mod that, you know, takes it, it takes too much 
work to make it how you want it. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, it, it would be awesome if it was fully ready to go, but it's not. There's still things that are missing from the... I mean, I don't like the fact that you have a whole entire base, and from what I can see, I didn't see one crafting table. Now, it's easy for me to make a crafting table, but you should already have that. I shouldn't have to add anything to a base mod. It should be everything, everything. Crafting tables, chests, storage, everything should be ready to go. If it's in there, I should be able to use it right away. That's what I'm paying for. Okie dokie, guys. If you enjoyed this review slash let's play of this map pack, let me know in the comment sections down below or leave a like, share, or subscribe. If you have any mods or maps that you feel that we should try out on the channel, why don't you leave it also in the comment section down below or look us up on Twitter or Instagram at Average Arcader. All lowercase, one word. Okay, guys. I'll catch you next time.